There are three ways to edit the grid resolution in Ableton Live 11. The first one is very simple by zooming in and zooming out. So how do you zoom in and zoom out? You take your mouse right above the timeline in the arrangement view. You'll see this magnifying glass appear. You hold down your mouse, left click and drag down and you can see the grid resolution changing in the bottom right of the arrangement view. And then you push up the mouse and the grid resolution is changing again. The next way to do this is to right click anywhere in the arrangement view or the piano roll and you'll get this menu to choose your favorite grid. You can choose one eighth or narrow or two bars, whatever you like. And in the piano roll, you can do the same and you can see in the bottom right of piano roll, the grid is changing as you're choosing your favorite grid. The next way to edit the grid resolution is by the keyboard shortcut. The first one is pressing command or control one that is to narrow the grid command or control two will widen the grid with command or control three you can select the triplet grid with command or control four you can switch on or off the grid now if i switch it off you'll see that I won't be able to snap to the grid anymore. This clip is not snapping at all anyway. It's moving freely. And if I switch it on again by command or control four, I'll be able to snap to the grid. Command or control five, you will be able to set the grid at the fixed resolution. So now if I press command and five, I have 164th grid, as you can see in the arrangement view, the bottom right. Now, even if I zoom in, or zoom out, I'll not be able to change the grid. So by clicking command or control five, you'll be able to set it to the fixed grid. To get out of it, all you have to do is just press command or control one or two. That's it, it's that easy, it's that simple. So that's how you edit the grid resolution in Ableton Live 11.